in this example, the very first thing after picking a password, uh, using the link that we have, uh, and like putting your login, they send you an email and we need to uh, verify this email. Again, the link that comes through uh, Stripe has to be open on your VPS. Otherwise, like if you do from your local IP, you most likely can have uh, issues and headaches with it. So it's gonna ask our Stripe, uh, our, our, our password again. Let me do this real quick. This email, every information that we're putting, our company name, EIN, it has to be the very first time that we're applying for it. And if we use, for example, one VPS to apply for it or have any rejections, any issues, if you try the same, uh, we're most likely gonna have issues, okay? Step by step, I'll be showing you how do we do the activation, link in the bank. So registered business address, we put the US. Type of business is a company. And this one is a multi-member LLC. Uh, so it, it's not gonna be individual. If you do individual, you have to have SSN and as an American, most likely you're not gonna be able to get it. Uh, so apply with your US company business. If it's single member, pick single member. If it's multi-member, pick multi-member. If it's a corporation, pick corporation. And the business details. So here we write our full company name, uh, our EIN number, which is the text identification number of our company. DBA, if we have it, we can put it. For example, our company name is Coca-Cola, but we're doing business as Stripe. The name, the brand is Stripe, okay? So we have to have DBA for Stripe. If you have it, it's very good, it's extra. You can put it if you don't have it, nothing to worry. We put our US address only and US phone number that we received a text before industry website and description. Let me simply put these information real quick. Okay, so when it comes to industry, we have to be having a, a website that we need to provide. And this website has to be, if you're selling a product, if you're doing like any type of services, don't put everything together. For example, if you have a website that you're selling a towel, a gardening thing, or a baby product, everything all together, or electronics, don't do it. Try to do it as niche as you can. And in your business description, try to explain this as, as good as you can. In this description, uh, we're gonna be like, we share uh, pillows, we sell blankets, pillows, uh, quilts, better, uh, prettier, you write this is better, like as professional as you can write it. You can say like we are an online retail of home goods that are helping people with their like kitchen needs, kitchen accessories, something like this. Or if you're selling just one specific product, tell why that product and what's about that product. So try to write the description as, as nice as you can. Okay, here you need to be putting, if it's a multi-member, if the whoever applying here has to be the SS, uh, ITN owner. So I write co-founder, since this is a multi-member LLC. And uh, for the home address, uh, I need you to put your business address again, like not your home country address, but since you do represent your business and you are based in the US, put the same. Okay, the part that scares uh, most of the people, do not worry, put your last four digits of your ITIN. I know it says social security number. The further thing, the max that what's gonna happen uh, is they're gonna be asked for further proof of your SSN, uh, if they can find it, and at that case, uh, what we're going to be doing is just providing your ITN result, which is going to be working just fine. So um, there are two members in this bit company, in this business. So I'm going to be adding him as well. It is better if the both members have ITN because uh, when the tax season comes for filing tax season, uh, the both members are going to be filing their taxes, their individual incomes, and it's going to be required to have ITN to file taxes as well. Okay, wait. So yeah, make sure you pick the both members. When it asks you if you ship the products by yourself, you, even if you're shipping with a, uh, a freight forwarder in outside of the US, uh, please pick yes. And 
uh, tell them within two weeks, everyone receives their products. And whatever your numbers are uh, annually, please pick it and do not put it more if you're not going to be doing anything else. But if you have any potential or any uh, traction, like the higher you pick is always better. Okay, so these are the information that we're going to be putting for the clients. Here, uh, whenever you charge the client on your banking description, that's how it's going to be seen. I recommend you to put in your company name, then it can represent you with LLC or anything, but or you can put it up to you, let's say. And on the statement uh, this descriptor, it's going to be your domain, whatever your website that they put in. Don't forget one thing with your one company you can open multiple stripes with different websites with different bit for different business let's say you have six businesses you can separate them don't worry you don't have to be using the one stripe i'll be showing you that as well okay we put our uh, customer support address so if they have any return or anything this is the address that they can get and here we're going to be linking our bank account um uh, the good thing is Mercury Bank is here. If it's not here for your case, pick it manually and you're going to be putting your account number, uh, routing number and just doing that way, which is going to be working very fine. So right now, uh, I'll be need to uh, log in. There's a third party that they use. So with this login, uh, we'll be able to connect our bank account so simply. I'll be showing you that as well. Okay, so I'll be getting the, the code from the guys, the owner of the account that I'm opening for them. So this is an actual account that we're opening here, uh, not just for demonstration. Okay, so in case you can't find your bank or the third party that connecting doesn't work, you can simply use uh, to connect it manually. Uh, after we provide the account number, we're gonna be also adding our routine number and uh, it may not directly accept it it may send you two small uh, chargings uh, and so it's asking to so it's asking us to add a two-step uh, verification uh, so i i ask for an sms you can use the authenticator app since this application is not for uh, me Okay, we received the code, we put the code. Um, and backup code is also important. We have to save it, make sure uh, it's saved. So again, like when you're doing this, make sure you're using a US number, uh, not any other number, your home country or anything. We can simply skip the uh, extras. So we're gonna have the summary of our application. Okay, I only put the, I only forget to put the birthday of the one of the, the other members. So it just reminded me I put that one. I skipped it probably. And yeah, pretty much we're ready. Uh, we do the submission and that's it. The first, the furthest thing they will be doing is gonna be um, them asking one more verification uh, for identification. So we may provide our passport scan. Uh, if it comes with SSN, we may be able to provide our ITIN. So uh, we're gonna have also option for that.